here from Soda City Boards again. Today I'm going to be doing another little video on how to do a full tumbler wrap on a 40 ounce cup. I'm using a Stanley Duke cup. It's not an actual Stanley as you can see. Um, and I'm going to go through the process of how I set mine up and take off, take off the handle, set it up on the rotary, sizing it for the rotary and everything and getting the wrap on it properly and then my settings that I use and show a little time lapse of it engraving it. Um, if you have any questions at the end, please feel free to reach out and I'll uh, include some links of where you can get some of these and who I bought mine from. So the first step with these is on the handles, there's gonna be two little screws that are here and then right here. This one can be a pain in the butt to get out. I will undo this one first, which I've already done. I did that before the video wasn't thinking and then I'll normally slide the handle I'll lift it up a little slide it to the side so that gives me a, sh a straighter shot to get a screwdriver into this one to try to get it out and then once you get it out you can uh, take the lid off and get it set up on your rotary all right so I'm about to get mine set up on the rotary here you'll notice the tabs from where the handles came off here and here I'm going to align that perfectly centered and they're going to be on the bottom of the cup perfectly centered between the wheels on my Pi Burn 4, 4 version. So I'm going to set it on. I have it already all set for these because I was doing some earlier. And then I'm going to align those tabs on the bottom perfectly centered between those wheels so that way I can get a st set start point for my engraving so that way the end of my wrap will meet between those two tabs. I have that all set up. I have the nozzle, the notches and stuff all set up so it's not going to move. Um, the only other thing that I need to do is go into light burn and set my machine up for use for a rotary and then get the laser head aligned and everything with this. Alright, so now I'm going to get it aligned with my focal distance which mine is 20 millimeters. I'm going to align it at the top and I am also going to do a 20 millimeter focal distance at the bottom too. They should both be 20 millimeters for me. And then my next step is getting the, la the laser fired from here, which is going to be the top center origin. So that way the wrap meets at the back where those tabs are and it's going to connect there. All right, so the one thing that I didn't do with that cup, which I'm going to do with my other ones that I have, is you have to measure your diameter for your rotary and light burn. So for me, I just take a little flimsy tape measure and I will measure across, which mine come out to 99 millimeters. So that's what I'm gonna have mine set at in light burn. All right, so here in light burn, I already have my rotary settings pulled up. So I'm going to go ahead and enable my rotary. Um, for my pie burn, I did all this measuring and everything to find my steps for rotation at 360. My roller diameter, I measured that at 63. And then my object diameter, which I just went over, I measured and is 99 across. So from there, I'm going to save that. Make sure my enable rotary and everything is on. For me on these cups, I use a setting of fill at 375 millimeters per second 31 percent power and a 0 0.070 line interval this is on my 150 watt om tech so most machines pretty much every one is going to be different i highly recommend doing a power speed test in order to figure out your best settings for this to get the best results on your tumblers